Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Also, before the interview even starts, I just want to go ahead and say a huge thank you to you for coming on, taking time out of your day to answer some questions from the community and uh, just to hang out. And uh, my, my first question, if I don't ask this, there will be riots in the comment section. Can you say Mozambique here as Pathfinder? Sure thing. Mozambique here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> my life is complete. Got to pick that up. I remember, and it was on the video we made of it, when Roger Craig Smith and I squatted up. He took Mirage. I took Pathfinder. Roger Craig had only played the game once on the day it came out, and he rage quit after a few minutes. So after a year of the game being out, I get him into a match. He doesn't remember how to do anything. He doesn't remember hardly anything about the game. And of course, we come across a Mozambique, and not only do I ping it, Mozambique here. but I say, as Pathfinder to him, you want to pick that up, Mirage. That's the best gun in the game. And he immediately knew I was lying to him. Mozambique here. Hey, there's the best gun in the game, Mirage. You need that. No, you're being sarcastic. Was my chest emote winking when I said that? Even with your stilted delivery, I pick up sarcasm. Uh, circuit, cir circle, circle vision? Circa, sarca, whatever. I pick up the fact that you're joking. Thank you very much for Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. Since, uh, <laughs> since I can't leave my home, uh, it, it, it's pretty nice. Recently, I started playing Monster Legends, and boys, I, <laughs> I'm loving it. I know many of you probably already play this game. It's got a really big community, but if you haven't heard of it, or if you haven't even played it yet, then uh, go check out Monster Legends right now in my description. Monster Legends is a free-to-play game available on iOS and Android. I've collected a bunch of different types of monsters. It's pretty simple. First, you can get two different types of species and create and breed new types of monsters. There are a lot of different monster collections to try and complete. I've played the game a good amount, but I'm actually still really far behind. There are so many types of combinations and collections to complete. Another cool thing about Monster Legends is you can play against your friends in real time. You can also use Facebook Connect to see who on your friends list has downloaded the game and who you can play against. There's also some great PvP modes where you can take your strongest monsters and fight in special dungeons and or in the adventure map. Like I said earlier in the video, there is a huge community behind this game. There's always new content coming out, new updates. You, uh, <laughs> you're gonna be pretty busy playing this game. Thank you again for Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. I'm really lucky to be able to do YouTube full-time and work from home, but I know a lot of you aren't, so I hope you're safe. I hope you're healthy. So if you guys are interested in Monster Legends or have heard about it but just haven't downloaded it yet, then go click the affiliate link in my description. Even get a friend to download it, fight him in real time, and uh, enjoy. Now on to the video. You know, that's a good question because um, I... I ask the devs and the writers the same thing. I, I Every time I go in and record, and we, we're recording like every season, we'll go in and record new stuff. I'll, I'll ask, I'll say, what, so what's up with that? And I always get these really cryptic replies. You know, we're working on it, you'll find out. If I did know, I couldn't tell you, but I'll, I'll be sure to tell you guys already, I simply don't know. We're going to learn more. I can say that with all confidence. We're going to learn more in the upcoming year about Pathfinder. Everyone who is good at this game does not take, they, they take somebody other than Mirage. And <laughs> I enjoy playing him. And part of it is because of the character itself. But part of it is I love throwing that decoy out there. And that ultimate going completely invisible, that's pretty useful too. I usually forget to do it. I guess if I knew what the hell I was doing, I'd be taking Wraith because apparently that's the one that all the pro players really like taking. But just for sheer fun, I go with Mirage. All right, so you like yeeting the decoy. It's interesting. Yeah, I guess. Although let's not get into the word yeet. I gotta, it's, it's, my God, I know this is an okay boomer <laughs> moment for me, but I refuse to acknowledge the existence of that word. I don't get it. My mods have a great time trying to get me to say it and I refuse to. But uh, yes, I, I guess I yeet the Mirage decoy. <laughs> That's probably the most common question I'm asked. And it changes because uh, first of all, every now and then they add a new one, which is fun. Every now and then, and they're starting to let me, uh, they're starting to let me ad lib a little bit in the recording sessions. We still record everything they have written because I respect the writers. The most pathfindery line there is, is who's ready to fly on a zip line? I am. Because <laughs> it's so pathfindery. Like who's ready to do 
what I love to do more than anyone else. And by the way, don't answer that. I'm going to answer for you. So it's just, it's that clueless, optimistic enthusiasm for doing the most mundane things. That's Pathfinder. How does a robot get affected by things that should only affect organisms? Let's just go ahead and assume the writers said the gas is an all-purpose gas. You're a living, breathing organism that it's going to get into your cells and into your membranes and all that and cause havoc. If you're a cybernetic organism, if you're a program, then it's going to be like uh, something that gets into your circuits and wreaks havoc that way. So I, I, I'm sure the writers will have a much more plausible explanation or they might just say the same thing because we say so. Um, yes, I do. And why not? You know, why not? I, I mean, I am Pathfinder. So if I maimed anyone else, I think it would have to be for a pretty darn good reason because like I could... I guess if I got to be really good at the game, maybe I would say, I'm going to main Wraith a little bit more, or maybe I'm going to main Gibraltar more because he can do this or that, or maybe I'd have a specialty. But I started playing the game because I did the voice and I wanted to hear my work. I wanted to make sure that I was happy with my work because we do that a lot as voice actors. Back in the day, before everything seemed to just be an online gaming experience, when you did a game, you didn't really get to hear your performance unless you went out, bought the game, or they sent you a free copy of it. You got a platform or a console and you played it. You had to play long enough to hear your character because you weren't always the main character. So that's how you could hear your performance and sort of give yourself a grade and see if you were happy with what you did and maybe take notes for next time. In this case, I did not play the game right away. I was aware of when it came out, but I wasn't really a gamer. I'm still not a gamer, especially if you watch my my stream and my videos, you know I'm not much of a gamer. But I wanted to play because my brother had been playing. So the reason why I main him is I do think he has a lot of uses. I love the zip line. It can be offensive and defensive. Um, defensive, obviously, you can get out of trouble in a hurry. You can get into trouble if you want to help your teammates. Uh, the ultimate is awesome for position, especially when the ring is getting tighter and tighter and it can help your teammates a lot. I auditioned for the character. I auditioned for the, I auditioned for the part at home. Most of a voice actor's auditions take place at home, even before the lockdown happened. Just about every voice actor, um, has gotten themselves a decent microphone and some sort of sound treatment for acoustics so that you can send in a decent quality audition. Although I have friends, especially on-camera friends, who record from their phones. Mm -hmm. Chantel Van Santen, who is Wraith, recorded her initial audition on her iPhone and just sent it in. Wow. So <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah, it's just because they want to hear the basic quality of your voice and then the performance. So the first time I saw Pathfinder, it was one of a group of auditions I had for the day, because usually you can read for a few things in a day if you're lucky. And I just saw this copy where they said, uh, this is the robot and this is his personality and here's an artist's rendering of them. It always helps to have that character reminds me a little bit of David Hyde Pierce, who's a really funny, really talented actor who was on a show uh, in the 90s in the aughts called Frasier. And he played, um, I believe, uh, Niles Crane, Frasier Crane's brother, who's very proper, who always speaks particularly and with perfect grammar. Take that voice and then put a little bit more of me in there and make him a little bit more casual and a little bit happier and less uptight. And before I knew it, I had Pathfinder. A roundhouse kick, all right. Huh? all right. So you sense your assailant's presence. You feel your body in the space. Where your opponent is. And when you're ready, you strike. Ho! Ho! Oh! I'll just be in the middle of doing something in a game, whether I'm pinging something or equipping something or reloading, and I hear myself say something and I think, Oh man, that's me. I said that. I said that in a booth and they recorded it and they animated to it. And um, the one thing I've always said that it is still true, I hate getting killed by Pathfinders. <laughs> hate it. It annoys the hell out of me because then I have to hear my own taunts 
coming back at me. So I have to hear my own voice taunting me as I'm bleeding out. I have met all of the voice actors in person with the exception of Chantel. Yeah, I've gotten to meet pretty much everybody and they're all awesome. I mean, it's my tribe. It's it's uh, it's the other people in the world that, that see things the way you see things, you know, through the, the lens of a performer and a creator and an artist. And um, they're, they're just like you think they would be. They're not always like their character. Darren is nothing like Revenant. He's a charming, funny, kind, warm man and uh, talented as hell. And Branscombe is a big, friendly, happy teddy bear of a guy like Gibraltar, who can also squash you if he wants to. <laughs> Thank you, everybody out there in the Apex community. It's been a really amazing ride so far, and I think we've got a lot more to come. And I'm just as enthusiastic about it as you guys are. I'll be just as surprised by most of it as you guys are. I think you guys have uh, made for an amazing community. So it's been a privilege for me to be a part of that. So um, I want to thank you guys for the encouragement and the kind words and the support. And I also want to let you guys know that everything I make off of my stream and off of my YouTube channel and off of my cameo videos I make for people uh, it was money that I was keeping just as sort of a supplement to what I make as a voice actor. But right now during this pandemic, um, since everything is way up in the air, I've had family members lose their jobs. And uh, notably my brother and his wife and their son, they're all in the same house and they all were employed by the hospitality industry and they're all out of work right now. Stay home, play Apex. You have permission now to play Apex by the state. They would rather you stay in and shoot people online, then go out <laughs> and possibly spread something that could be deadly for a, a percentage of the population. In fact, um, someone who got on uh, Apex with me a few days ago, they asked if they could get on and play because they have a friend whose dad was in the hospital, ended up in the ICU and had to have assistance for, you know, to breathe. And he told me, I think he's going to get over it but we'll see. And the next morning, his father passed away. The, the young man's name is Andrew Weber. I think he's in his 20s. So his dad was in his late 50s. And I think his dad's name is Richard Weber. So my, my heart goes out to him and his family. So people do like Retro and I are doing. Stay in. Play yeah, Apex. You, you heard from Pathfinder himself. Online. Pathfinder says stay home. <laughs> Maybe I should do some sort of promotion where if you just guarantee me you're going to stay home, I'll get into a squad with you or something. I'm keeping you off the streets. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a really good time talking to Pathfinder, aka Chris Edgerly. What a nice guy, like seriously super down to earth, really funny. Uh, thank you again for coming on, for taking time out of your day to answer some questions from the community. It, it was a blast. All links for Chris Edgerly will be in the description. His YouTube, his Twitch, all that stuff. Please go give him a follow. Um, he makes some really good content. I hope you guys enjoy. Also, if you want to see more Legends interviews, some more Apex stuff, be sure to like, subscribe, and also comment down below who you want to see next. The more views this gets, the more likely we already get another Legend on. And uh, it looks like this may be turning into a series, so I'm really excited. I also hope all of you are safe and healthy. I know this pandemic is going on and it's it's really weird right now, but I'm lucky enough to work from home. Um, but I know some of you aren't as lucky, so please stay safe, wash your hands, uh, <laughs> stay away from people, and uh, hopefully this will all be over soon. Thank you again for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Hey everybody, it's Chris Edgerly, the voice of Pathfinder and Apex Legends. Hey, make sure that you subscribe to Retrospect's YouTube channel so you can see and hear all kinds of great interviews with other voice actors and ring that bell to get notifications. Have a good one.